Hello dear students. I am Anubala TGT English from Government High School Mahal Amritsar. I welcome all of you in today's class of English language. Look at the following picture. What do you see? Now, answer the following questions. What do you see in the given picture? Is there any notice board in your school? What is displayed on the notice board? What do you mean by notice? Suppose you are appointed the secretary of the tour organizing committee of your school how will you write a notice about it? These questions are very easy to answer for you. I hope you have thought about the answers. So let us discuss your answers here. First question. What do you see in the given picture? Yes, we see some students looking at a notice board in the given picture next question is there any notice board in your school yes there is a notice board in our school next question what is displayed on the notice board as we have seen in the picture some notices are displayed on the notice board what do you mean by notice? Yes, notice is a piece of paper displayed on notice board. Is it? Okay, we will discuss its meaning in detail. Suppose you are appointed the secretary of the tour organizing committee of your school. How will you write a notice about it? Don't you know? Okay, I will help you and tell you how to write a notice because the topic of today's class is notice writing. In today's class, we will discuss the meaning and the format of notice writing. First of all, dear students, let us discuss the meaning meaning of notice. In simple words, we say notice is a written or printed information. The most important word in this sentence is information. As we see on notice board, some pages are displayed and from the statement given below, we can understand that these pages must contain some information in them. Otherwise, there is no worth of these pages. So, notice is a written or printed information. It may be written by hand or may be in printed form. Notice contains some sort of instructions or information about any activity to be held in upcoming time. The person who wants to inform some subordinates or some other members of his organization about any activity which is scheduled to be held in the organization, he issues a notice about the activity and display it on notice board. In this way, the other people come to know about the instructions, the guidelines and other information regarding the activity. So this is the whole purpose of notice writing. There are some points which should be kept in mind while writing a notice. 
the language of a notice should be impersonal and objective by impersonal here we mean that we cannot use the words like i we you they that means direct pronouns cannot be used in notice writing and second most important word is objective by objective we mean the language should be to the point the content should be to the point no extra sentences can be added in a notice as we can write as many sentences as we want in a personal letter so language should be impersonal and objective next point is date of writing the notice should be mentioned on it it is very important to write the date of issuing the notice next point is the content should carry all information about time date and venue etc when you are going to write notice about competition or some other activity the other people are very eager to know about its time date and venue so these three things are very important to be mentioned in a notice again the same point i and you words should not be used signatures name and designation of the person issuing the notice should also be mentioned in the end when the readers read the notice then the question arises in their mind about the person issuing the notice who is issuing the notice they want to know then how can they come to know about his name signature name and designation of the person issuing the notice should also be mentioned in the end it means he should mention his name designation along with his signature in the end so that the readers could come to know about his name now i have a notice written as an example for you the statement of the notice is you are the sports secretary of your school write a notice about sports meet to be held in your school a sports meet is scheduled to be held in your school so the notice is written as first of all they have written government high school pune then date december 3 2020 notice the annual sports meet of the school is going to be held on 23rd and 24th of this month students who wish to take part in any event should give their names to the undersigned by 12th december 2020 positively then they have put signatures then name mohan lal sports secretary this is the notice given as an example for you you can consider how the uh, some important points which were discussed earlier are mentioned in this notice as we see in the end all three points signature name and designation of the person issuing the notice are mentioned very clearly now we will discuss the format of writing notice in detail the first column here is for writing name of the institution after that the next column is for writing the word notice n o t i c e notice it should always be written in capital letters then on the left hand side of the page we write date date of issuing the notice 
when you have written the date after that you write heading by heading we mean the title of the notice it is about the activity or the function to be held so we write heading after writing heading in center we write content which carries the basic information about the activity after writing content signature name and designation of the person issuing the notice are written so it is very simple nothing is difficult it can also be understood in this way you write name of the institution in a box name of the institution after that n o t i c e notice in capital letter is to be written the word notice attracts the readers to read the notice because it captures their attention after that on left hand side date then in the center in next line heading after writing heading the next turn is for con content which carries all information about time date venue and other conditions about the competition or the other activity then on the left hand side signature name and designation of the person issuing the notice notice should always be written in a box if it is not written in a box then it is not completed your marks can be cut so first of all a box should be drawn this is the simple format in which you can write notice points are very easy to understand dear students now i have brought the format as well as the example together so that we can compare and contrast what are the similarities how the notice is written according to the format so first of all name of the institute in the notice we say government high school then the word notice n o t i c e the same is written in the example notice then third column is date on the left hand side here it is december 3rd 2020 after that comes the point heading heading they have given the heading as sports meet next point is content which carries three to to four sentences here we have minimized it as we have read it earlier but it clears that the point is written properly after that signatures of mohan lal then name mohan lal and designation sports secretary in this way we can understand that the example given to us is written according to the notice dear students now i have an exercise for you the statement is you are gurpreet kaur the secretary of the tour organizing committee of government high school mahal your school is organizing a tour to delhi and agra draft a notice about the tour asking the students to give their names to you from this very statement you can get the main points you can frame the basic format or the structure of the notice in your mind first of all when you are writing a notice before starting to write give it a reading twice here 
we read it again they have written you are gurpreet kaur that means a person who is issuing the notice her name is gurpreet kaur and her designation is the secretary secretary of the tour organizing committee this is her designation and the name of the institution is government high school mahal so our basic points can be taken as it is and your school is organizing a tour to delhi and agra so we will make and some other points about the tour ourselves so let us start the notice writing first of all the main important thing is to draw a box as we have discussed it earlier if we do not draw a box our marks can be cut so draw a box now in this box first of all we write name of the institution name of the institution is government high school mahal second point is to write the word notice n o t i c e dear students it should always be written in capital letters then we write date on the left hand side march 3 2020 then heading heading of the notice can be written as educational tour because the tour is about historical places of delhi and agra so it is a part of our education so educational tour now we write the content as we have read in the important points to be remembered that the all information about time date and venue about the activity should be written in proper detail but here it is not about a competition or other function but it is about a tour so we will give the detail about the days to be spent and the charges per student in this notice so the school is organizing a four days tour to the historical places of delhi and agra from 25th to 28th november 2020 the charges for the tour will be 5000 rupees per student we are mentioning here charges because this is the main concern for students to know the students who wish to join the tour should give their names to the undersigned by march 14th 2020 positively do you know what do we mean by undersigned here by undersigned we mean here the name of the same person whose name is written in the end so just to avoid writing the name twice the word undersigned is written here so by here we mean that students should give their names to madam gurpreet kaur herself in case if the students are supposed to give their names to some other person not madam gurpreet kaur then they can write the name of other person then the line can be the students can give their names to madam parneet kaur or some other name by march 14th 2020 positively then signatures of madam gurpreet kaur are put here then name gurpreet kaur who is gurpreet kaur her designation is secretary secretary of tour organizing committee do you understand yes okay after writing the notice what would madam gurpreet kaur do she would go to the notice board and display the notice on it then 
the students would read the notice and interested students would give their names to madam gurpreet kaur in this way the willing students will join the tour now dear students as we have discussed everything about notice writing let us recall i'll ask you some questions first question is what do we write in the beginning of a notice yes question number second is which word should be written in capital letters question number third what is written after the word notice next question is whose name and designation is to be written in the end and the last question is which type of language should be used now let us discuss the answers first question was what do we write in the beginning of a notice yes we write name of the institution in the beginning of a notice our first column is for name of the institution name of institution can be name of the college or school or any other company from where the notice is to be issued the person issuing the notice is a part of that organization and the persons reading the uh, notice are also supposed to be part of the same organization so the name of the institution is to be written in the very beginning next question is which word should be written in the capital letters which word after writing the name of the institution the next column is of writing notice so the word notice is to be written in capital letter n o t i c e this word carries one mark in itself yes next question is what is written after the word notice when we have written the word notice what do we write we write date of issuing the notice and date is written on the left hand side of the page next question whose name and designation is to be written in the end yes now we all know very well the person who is issuing the notice writes his name and designation in the end as we have read the name and designation of gurpreet kaur the secretary of tour organizing committee and madan lal sports secretary so the person issuing the na uh, notice writes his name and designation in the end the last question which type of language should be used objective type of language should be used while writing a notice i hope now you have understood the format of writing a notice very well now you can write notice at your own so i have a home assignment for you the statement is you are malini the head girl of p n senior secondary school new delhi draft a notice about a blood donation camp to be organized in your school in about 50 words with all necessary details 
as I have said earlier, give a reading to the statement twice before starting to write a notice. So, I read the statement for you again so that you can understand the main points while reading it. You are Malini. So, Malini is the person issuing the notice. And her designation is the head girl of PN Senior Secondary School, New Delhi. So, the basic information is given you in the very first sentence, name of the institution and the name of the person issuing the notice along with her designation. Next sentence is draft a notice about a blood donation camp. So, heading of the notice would be blood donation camp to be organized in your school in about 50 words with all necessary details. So rest of the details about time, date and venue about the camp are to be written by you at yourself. I hope you would be able to write it very well. Wish you all the very best. Thank you.